So this is kind of our wall of fame. It's all the shirts from the different players from 1999 onwards that represented a, a country uh, internationally. And then my shirt's down here, the last one to go up, which was in 2008, uh, playing for England. He was a standout figure in the north of England, and if not England, for his age. His nickname was Shaggy at school. Um, he looked a bit like a character from Scooby-Doo. He was a bit laid back and long hair and a little bit skinnier than he is now. Um, so he was certainly a character, and I think um, that's what he brings to it, to, to his game as well. You know, it's not just um, a boring rugby player. He's, he's, he's a real character. I think it's just a great opportunity um, for him to explore something different. What position would he play? <laughs> that was my first question. I don't know a lot about American football, but it's quite interesting to see how we would uh, take to a different game. I'm sure he's got all the skills. I guess it's the technical side of it that you'll have to uh, get a grip of. You know, the studying side of football is completely different to rugby. So, you know, being able to juggle your, your physical stuff with your mental stuff is a, is a skill that, you know, is needed and that I'll try and reciprocate from what I learnt in my early days. For Alex Gray and his fellow international players, their impossible dream is about to be realised. After 90 days in Boca Raton, Florida, and another 25 days waiting in limbo, the time has arrived to learn which NFL team they'll be playing for. Well, 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 what do we have here? <laughs> the day we've all been waiting for has finally arrived. And I can see from the smile in you guys' faces, you might have an idea of what we got going on today. Today, you're going to find out exactly what the situation is, where you're going to go, each one of you, whether you're happy or sad. I don't care. You should be happy. <laughs> it's a great day for the NFL. It's an even better day for you guys because you're going to get a chance to live out your fantasies, live out your dreams. I'm excited to announce to you that your division that you guys are going to be going to is... Let me drink some water first. Oh, oh, <laughs> let, me drink, let me get a little water first. Okay. NFC South. Play for the man next year and believe. Touchdown Tampa Bay, Jameis Winston. How we gonna win? Doing the little things right. And the dome is roaring. And now I'm going to tell you the teams you're going to be playing for. We're gonna start with you, Alex, okay? We're gonna start with you now. We think you're gonna be a 3-4 defensive end. Okay. And so we wanted to put you on a team that is going to be running a 3-4 defense. Um, obviously, the only team that runs that is the New Orleans Saints. They have a great coach down there, Sean Payton. So you're going to be playing for the New Orleans Saints for this particular year. I hope you're excited about that. This is going to be incredible. Get you some gumbo. Get you some <laughs> Mardi Gras beads. You're going to have a great time down there. But going down there, you have to work hard. We're going to give you this hat right here for you to put on, like draft day. Draft you know what I mean? Day. You got your, the, the New Orleans Saints, man. So you are now officially New Orleans Saints. <laughs> I don't even care. Doesn't fit your big head. I got a little big head. It's all right. Yeah. What'd you even say? I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm just like shaking on the inside. You know what I mean? All right. <laughs> I knew this moment was coming, but, Aww. and I feel like we've been waiting so long, but, you know, it's just weird when it's actually, actually here, you know? Yeah, sorry, it's hard. We're happy though, we're happy, you know what I mean? It's just crazy, it's just hard, it's just really hard to put into words. And normally I've got, I've, you know, I've got words for everything. You gotta stop, man, because you make me want to cry. I don't, I don't feel like crying right now, okay? I still have, you know, a couple, a couple more to go. And I don't feel like crying right now, right? So just, <laughs> come on, man. All right, so I found out. So next year, or this year, sorry, I'll be playing for the New Orleans Saints. <laughs> hey, hard work pays off. 
you, Alex. And, get, and the, the Saints are coming to England this year, aren't they? Are they? Yeah, they play a game in Wembley versus Dolphins, so. So the next chapter begins, Alex. Yep. Next journey. Yep. As you think, so shall you become. Yeah. I love you. We're going to go to you now, F.A. Now, we wanted to put you on a 4-3 because we feel like you're going to be an outstanding 4-3 defensive end. We feel like you have all the physical capabilities to thrive. Now, the team that runs that down there is Carolina Panthers. So you are going to the Panthers. This is where you're at, man. Carolina Panthers, my man. How you feel, man? Feel good. Uh, you ready? Lay on me. What did you got? <laughs> uh, drum rolls, please. <laughs> Carolina Panthers. Carolina Panthers? Yes. Well done, baby. Thank you, thank you. Ah, well so we're going to Carolina? Yeah. That's Carolina. In Carolina. <laughs> 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 I don't know, but it's not near Disneyland, that's for sure. I'm proud of you, baby. Well done. Thank you. Are you happy? I am. It's first round <laughs> international drafts. <laughs> Second pick, though. I don't understand why. <laughs> Eric. Now, we wanted to put you on a team that runs a 4-3 also, a team that has a, a strong linebacking uh, a crew because we feel like that's where you're going to project best to. And so the team that we're going to put you on is going to be... The Tampa Bay Buccaneers. <laughs> so you are now officially with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, my man. And that's where you're going. How do you feel? I mean, I've, I've probably heard you say three words in, in, in months now. So tell us how you feel right now. I, I'm overwhelmed. Um, like, after my pro day, I wasn't thinking that I'd get another chance because I, like, pulled my, pulled my quad and I gave me the call. And the work you guys did is just so it's just to provide this opportunity to us. It's just so greatly appreciated. Hello, Pops. Yeah. Hey. Hey. Also, ich rufe an, weil die haben uns heute die Teams gesagt. Wow. Und? Also, ich gehe nach Tampa Bay zu den Buccaneers. Tampa Bay Bills. I. I really hoped that you go to It's obviously been a long waiting game and just hearing the words, uh, like when OC told us, he was like, yeah, I know the division. And then he's like, I know the team as well. And I was like, okay, <laughs> finally. Finally, we come to you, Alex. And obviously, we all know where you're going. <laughs> yeah. Team was just in the Super Bowl last year, yeah. man. So, you know, you got, you got a really good gig going over here, man. We're really proud of you. We're happy for you. Obviously, you're going to be a Falcon. You know, I played down there, so I know about the Falcons. So this is you, my man. Just crazy to think, you know, six months ago, this never would have been a possibility for me. Huge respect to these other three guys and everyone else involved with NFL UK, because they've kind of made the dream of a, a kid from up north who's always played rugby all his life, you know, would never have thought he'd ever get a chance to do something like this. Hello. Hi, Mom. It's just me. Oh, my Alex. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm all right. Uh, well, yeah, I'm just ringing. Uh, I've got some. I've got some news today. All right. What's up then? Uh, well, your son is now officially uh, an Atlanta Falcon. Oh my God! <laughs> oh, that's brilliant! Yeah. Oh my goodness me! Oh, are you pleased? Yeah. Well, it's, the, it's the te definitely the team I wanted. So. Oh, uh, yeah. It's kind of worth it. It's perfect fit, really. Oh, well, well done, Alex, Mr. Atlanta Falcon. <laughs> you know, I know what I'm going there to do. You know, I'm not going there just to just to experience it. You know, that's not what this is about for me. This is about me now. This is, I've decided this is the route I want to take in my life. Um, and now I'm going to try and make the most of it. Okay, oh, yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. This is the beginning how you guys operate and how you conduct yourselves and the things you're able to do out there is going to open up the door for thousands of people. Run, 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 run. We'll run. Us down. We get back up. A revolution is on the way. If it's a fight you want, it's a fight you get. The 
It's about how much you're gonna put in. I'm just ready to just go into camp and start performing. You know, it's been a hell of a ride up to this point, but now the you know the real fun begins, I guess. It's something I've always wanted. It's you know something that is gonna change my life forever. It's been a dream of mine ever since I started playing football. I wanted to go to the next level. Everybody outside of America is going to be looking to see what you do. Hey, nice job, FA. Nice job. What you do is going to impact so many other people's lives. Invincible. Part one of the journey is over. Now it's time for the real work to begin. Four international players went from being unknown and undiscovered to conducting press conferences in front of American media. Uh, what's it like knowing that for a year you're basically not going to be able to play games, you're just going to be on practice squad, what's that like? I mean, it's bittersweet, but at the same time, it's an incredible opportunity, you know. Um, it's something I did in college, you know, I redshirted in college, and that really gave me the, the push I needed to be able to be a starter the next year. The journey he's been on is just a little bit different than, you know, most of us who grew up with football here in the States and in our journey. I understand the position I'm in. I understand the role that I'm playing this year. And if that role changes, then, you know, I'll be ready. I'm really looking forward to seeing this player in the future, see Alex's uh, career progress. Yeah, you know, as long as he keeps the way he is right now, I see a very bright future for him. Alex Jenkins is an NFL player. Even though the practice squad agreement for the European players states that they can't play a down in the 2017 regular season, Jenkins attacks each practice like his job is on the line. I mean, it's been a grind. It's been a, it's been a real grind. It's pretty much what I expected. Every day, meetings, practice, uh, yeah, it's tough. It's tough. It's really been a, a humbling experience. You know, being away from home, and just being in such an intense environment 24 seven, you know, you go to sleep, five minutes later you're up and you're back at practice. So it's, it's, it's been tough, but you know, it's tested me for the good. When his journey began, Jenkins allowed himself to dream big. That's the dream, bruv. Super Bowl sack, Super Bowl sack. It may not be a Super Bowl sack, but it was a great first impression for the kid from Bath. Under pressure from behind and down. Taken down by Alex Jenkins, big number 74. It was kind of like a blackout experience. I kind of did it. I kind of got I got past um, the six foot nine, 320 pound tackle. Got past him, and you know I just seen the quarterback there, and I was just like, wow, he he hasn't thrown it yet, and he hasn't seen me yet, and I've got him, and I'm down, and now I'm up and I've got sack, it was just kind of like it just happened, you know. It was like slow motion and all these thoughts in my, head's, in my head was going through of when I first started this game and being back in England and dreaming of the moment, you know, standing there in the crowd. So it was an emotional experience, but I was kind of blacked out as I was doing it, I'm not gonna lie. That experience just kind of cemented to me like you can play this game and you can compete at a high level and you can do this, you know. Um, I mean, right now it's early days, but ultimately my goal, my goal is to be the best English player we ever played this game. One of the biggest adjustments for rookies is film study. In Carolina, F.A. Obada is eager to play catch up. Aggressive five, right here. Overall in the game, just like we talked about, we talked about, you did some really good things in the ball game. And we just got to clean up some position fundamentals and we got to make progress with your edge rush. Yeah, he's an active learner. In this meeting room, he pays attention. He does a great job taking notes. What was the line of scrimmage check right uh, here? QT. QT, which means the DN is going right now to the A-gap. What's the tackle telling you right now? Down close. Third down and two, what are you thinking to yourself right now? These are, these yeah. Are. I'm grateful every day I wake up, every day I'm allowed to put on that jersey, every day I'm allowed to walk into this, the locker room and sit in that, you know, sit in that room 
and speak to coaches or watch myself and film, I'm just grateful. Even down to just every day I'm allowed to eat their food, and stuff. <laughs> I'm grateful for that too. Just remember this, with your speed, yep. more speed to the launch this week, okay? Yes, sir. His athletic ability was pretty obvious from the beginning. It was a lot, not a lot of polish, if you will. He was kind of raw and he had some things and it was our job, our responsibility to kind of sharpen those things up. I don't want you to be fixated on what this guy is doing. We need to understand the information he's giving you, but, you're, but what we're trying to do is get to that spot at, at all costs, okay? Use the tool at max speed. You're still an edge rusher, so your mentality is I've got to win, okay? Here we go, red 98, that same profile. Red 98, sit so bang, here, that's the tool, now I'm going right there. And then the other thing is the reach. Good job on the reach. It's surpassed my expectations. Carolina definitely is, a, is one is the best fit for me. And I definitely want to be a part of this organization and, and help this team win. Talk to him, F.A., get him off. Get the tackle off the three technique. Red 98, said hug one, bang, here, rush in the center. Now, push that deeper, it's not, not deep enough. You gonna tell you one thing? Uh, I'm impressed with it. Sure he's got it, you gotta talk to him. You guys are involved, okay? Right then, are we stepping we step into it? Or we just... No, we're running it, okay. we're gonna run it. Steal. His knowledge of the game of football in terms of instincts, you know, for a guy that doesn't have a, a tremendous background, I'm starting to see that grow and recognizing certain things and reacting to those things. I think F.A. has a, a, a tremendous opportunity and a chance to be a 53-man roster member. Near the level, F.A., red 98. Said, hug one, push it, right there. Tight backs, right there. That's it right there, perfect. All right, that's it right there. Just three years ago, Abada had never played football. Now he's making a splash on an NFL field. Fee Obata, international player, London, England, did not play college football, just knifed in there and made the sack on Deshaun Watson. That's a nice play. He fought through two guys to get there. So he fought hard to get Deshaun Watson. It's not easy to get him down on the ground. It just happened so fast. Um, made an entire move, and then I saw him, and I just ran at him. You know, it kind of out me a bit, so I just kind of threw my body out, so. He was excited and the group couldn't have been more excited for him because I think at that point, it was a realization of the fact that he'd arrived. That's the culmination of a lot of work, a lot of hard work and a lot of focus and attention to detail and, and, and we were all happy for him. We wanted him to get more. <laughs> In Tampa, German Eric Nzarcher is flying under the radar even among teammates. Nozoku. Nozoku. Where'd you hear a K at? It started with an N. Yeah, it said Nozoku. No. That ain't what you said. Nozoku, N-Z-Z. The N is silent. We already know that. Zeus, Nozoku. Nozoku. It's been a lot of fun. Obviously, there's ups and downs and stuff, but all, overall, it's been great opportunity. So did you pick up any, got a, any? Well, hi, Pilgrim. Any of that when you were a cowboy and, and like John Wayne? Are you? Can you give me a little John Wayne? Since I can't you can't give you any John Wayne. Get on it. See if you can. Get Hell, you were a doggone cowboy. He's a cowboy. Get, he's a, yeah. He played Wyoming. Wyoming. He played for the oh, Wyoming Cowboys. Oh, he did play in Wyoming. I don't think. Can you don't. ride a horse? I cannot ride. This a horse. This is your guy right here. You know how to ride this a bird horse. Knows, oh, are you I'm kidding? Cowboy. Me? This bird knows how to do it with the best of them. Yeah. There's a couple of guys that speak like a couple words of German. German? Yeah. What German words do we know? Uh, the German word, I'm German Shepherd. I've been having a lot of fun out here. <laughs> Let me show that. Right on it, German Shepherd. That's about it. When we first started, we obviously were working out in uh, Boca, but it did not properly prepare me for what I was hit with out here. Strike it up, let's go. Bring it now, let's go. Strike! Bring it! Let's go, Eric! Let's go, Eric! Let's go, Eric! It's been tough not getting as much playing time out here. Let's go! But, like, that's something I have to, had to get used to. Though Eric has not seen much game action, Ooh. he's determined to make the most of his unlikely opportunity. Good, good, good. Break this guy down to your buddy. I'm, like, taking every rep as a great practice rep and, uh, like, an opportunity to put good tape out there. I'm going to tell you right now, I was on your back end from the sideline saying you've got to get back on this thing, on the flash. I was wrong and you were right. It was a Reggie by you and you did a hell of a job. Let's give, let's give a round of applause to Eric, please. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, true, yeah, true. I mean, it's been, it's been hard, but I definitely adjusted to it. This is kind of the end of the day routine for me. Doing the work during the day and then got to come back here and do the work during, for the night. When people switch on, switch on the TV and see the glitz and the glamour of the NFL, you know, it's not all that. It's, um, there's a lot of, there really is a lot of work. I knew this would be the size of the challenge and that, you know, how big a you know, challenge it would be, but uh, that's, it's just exactly what I wanted. You know, I'm where I want to be. Um, I, I'm where I feel I'm supposed to be. A couple hours in the play, but trying to learn the plays because there's a lot of stuff to learn. You know, for me, it's just trying to contribute to my team. And the only way I can do that is if I know my stuff and they can trust me. So that's kind of what I'm working on. Alex Gray has done the unthinkable. He's learned how to be an NFL player in mere months. Less than a year ago, he was still playing rugby. I knew it was going to be a, a hard transition, you know. Just going from one sport to another sport you've never played is probably tough. And then to do that against some of the best players in the world, I mean, that's quite a challenge. Uh, but he's really done a good job. Punch, 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 set your feet, punch, 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 good. He understands how to be a professional, so, and that helps him grow, that helps him adapt. He's getting used to it, he's fitting in well, he's doing a good job. I got told today that if someone was watching the film, um, you know, people wouldn't know that I've never played football before. Gray may be the newbie in camp, but he has some international company to help see him through. There's quite an international team, you know, there's obviously Anthony here from Anthony Dablet from France, we've got a guy from Denmark. Uh, Adam's here as well. It's always nice having some friendly faces around. It just shows, you know, there's talent out there. And, you know, a forward thinking organisation like the Falcons, you know, are willing to uh, buy into that. And, you know, if you can play football, you can play football. It doesn't matter where you're from, doesn't matter what your background is. Live from Hard Rock Stadium, it's the first game of the preseason the Miami Dolphins and the Atlanta Falcons. That was the first game I'd ever been to, you know, watched live, never mind played in. The only time that it kind of hit me was when we were, we were stood in the tunnel, um, ready to run out before the game. And, you know, I look around and everyone's in their pads, their helmet, you know, wearing the, the Falcons emblem. And I look around and think, what the hell am I doing here? Like, what's going on? You know, is this real life? The first snap I got was a, was a, run, a run block play. He was assigned to one guy, and he started going to his guy, and he saw another guy, he hit him, then took off to his guy again, and saw somebody else, banged him, and then eventually, uh, the third guy he hit was the guy he was supposed to get to to start with. My coach said he'd seen worst first plays, so um, that, was, that was kind of fine with me. You know, a lot of the reps will go to you know, the starting guys who are going to be playing especially. So, you know, if I catch five to ten balls during the session, I need to be out here and make sure I catch 100, 200. So, yeah, coming out here every day, making sure I'm the last one in. That's kind of what I'm about. Um, that's what I'm going to keep doing. And hopefully that work will, will keep developing my skills and I'll be able to start showing that in practice. Hey, buddy. Can you sign him? Aww. <laughs> The road to NFL success is winding with plenty of bumps. For four European players, they've started down that road. Success is not guaranteed. But regardless the outcome, these men have already made an impact on a global level. They are they're the start, so where they go is up to them, and I think like they inspire younger kids and they're just showing people that they can do it, you know. You know, to give anybody hope and to you know show a pathway for people that they can they can achieve their dreams and stuff. You know if uh, if that's up to me and the other three guys to, to do that, then you know that's absolutely fantastic. If you're willing to dream big and you're willing to work hard enough, and we're trying to show people that you know it's possible. Did you get any nicknames yet, or I've got F.A. Holmes. F.A. Holmes, yeah. like Sherlock Holmes. I don't even know. He's not sure. young F.A. Holmes. So yeah. Literally first day, Rankins was just like, Lord Byron, that's your name. And I was like, okay. And then everyone's calling me Lord Byron. I even hear Mr. Byron sometimes, I don't know why. Now, I've just recently acquired 
the uh, King of the North tag. Because obviously being from the north of England and everyone's a big Game of Thrones fan here, so uh, I've kind of got the King of the North tag at the minute. Because if people don't know England, but they know Game of Thrones, I'll just say I'm from where Jon Snow's from.